This video is to teach you how to insert audio and video into discussion threads in Desire to Learn, also called Brightspace, if you're looking for tutorials in YouTube. On this page, I have created a test discussion thread. And I've opened it up while I am logged in as a student. So this testing thread asks me to insert a video or audio file. And as I respond to it, I start a new thread. I, ins I insert the title because it will nag me for a title if I don't. And then I go to this button, which is insert stuff. Now this button used to look a little bit different in earlier versions of desire to learn slash Brightspace but it does much of the same thing as the old button. It just has more functionality than the old button did. So if I insert stuff, you will see that it has many options. The easiest of these to use in class is the add video note. And if you add video note, it will start recording whatever is in front of your webcam and it will give you three minutes as from when you start new recording. Now, my webcam is pointing straight up at the bottom of my computer, so that's not very helpful in creating an interesting video, but I will walk you through the process in any case. So I select new recording, and this is actually recording my voice and whatever is on the camera. So here I'm going to put my hand here so you can tell that it is recording live. Now I'm going to stop. It will, also re it will also immediately review whatever re you've recorded if you want it to review. You can cancel that out by hitting next. And then you need to give your title, your video a title. It will uh, allow you to save it if you don't put a title in, but it's, uh, don't put a description in, but you do have to have a title. So the title, we'll call this the testing number one, and we'll call this video capture example. Now you can put closed captioning onto your recording. It won't be perfect because it's going to be uh, computer generated and it will look a lot like the uh, captioning that you see on YouTube, but it will be captioning. You select next and insert, and then your video will be here. Now you can also insert stuff that you've already created. So if you have created a video on your own computer, if that's easier for you, or if you've created one on YouTube for some reason, you can also do this here. The video note function in D2L only allows for three minutes, so if for some reason you need more than three minutes, you can upload to this site uh, a video that you've already made. Now, another way to add audio or video is to add attachments. You can upload a regular file, a Microsoft Word file or some other document or image file, which in this class we've already done that so my students know how, or you can record a video or audio record. Uh, uh, segment. Now, recording video works exactly the same way in this part of D2L as it did up here. And you'll find actually that all of the record video options that are available to you, because they also exist in, in Dropboxes, for example, all of them work the same way. Now, record audio for my classes and my students is less helpful because, as you can see, it only gives you one minute. Now the format is just the same as with the video, so let me give you an example. Here is an example of my recording. And then you can add it. So here's some test audio. 
and sample audio. Here, we don't have the option to add closed captioning. Now, if you click on this, it will look as though there's nothing here or there's nothing happening. But what you do is you do click to view. You can also upload files that you have put in your, compu in your computer or your uh, phone. So if you have recorded on your phone's voice recorder or on your, on your computer's voice recorder, you can upload these. And the limit for sound recording is uh, larger if it's a file that you're uploading. I so we could upload all sorts of things here any item that you would want, just as if it were, uh, whether it is a document file or an audio file. And then you would hit post. And this is what people will see in your thread, in your portion of the thread. I hope that this is helpful.